Welcome to Designing Space's Think Green, a special edition of the show that's all about you, your space, and living a greener lifestyle. Now, we all want to improve our lifestyles and maintain that green standard. The goal here is to treat the environment as a major contributor to our health, economy, and general well-being. We have a great lineup of topics to help you and your family live a more eco-friendly lifestyle. So let's get started right now and think green. When most of us think of coal as an energy resource, we think of the dirty brick buildings with tall stacks billowing black smoke. And yeah, that was the past, but things certainly are different. And with modern innovations, coal is making a comeback. With more on this, looking through green colored lenses, here's Michelle Anselmo. Affordable, clean, and reliable electricity is in greater demand than ever. Even as our homes become more energy efficient, there are still concerns about the environmental impact of our energy sources. What you are seeing is a flagship, a model for the future to meet our community's needs that is setting a standard for energy production. Think Green is here today at Prairie State Energy Campus in Washington County, Illinois. This facility is impressive. It's state of the art. But what this plant truly represents is an important step in creating a sustainable and secure future in energy. Think Green is here today with Lisa Camuso Miller. Hi, Lisa. Hi, good thanks, to see you. And thanks for being here. Oh, we're so thrilled. She's with the American Coalition on Clean Coal Electricity. You're the woman to talk to. I'm so excited to start this tour. Well, it just opened. We're really excited. Lisa, Prairie State's brand new facility utilizes coal. Why coal? Michelle, coal is one of America's most reliable, affordable, and abundant sources for electricity. So here at Prairie State, they're using an American natural resource in a way that produces near zero emissions and provides affordable and reliable electricity to its customers. But also, as you see, they put together and put on technologies here that allow for an even more efficient production of coal use for electricity generation. 30 years ago, this would have looked much different. That's exactly right. And as we go forward today and walk through the plant, you'll see what some of those technologies are. Tell us about the American Coalition for Clean Coal Electricity. The American Coalition for Clean Coal Electricity is made up of America's coal producers, railroads, and utilities, all folks who want to see coal as part of America's energy future. I thought they would be phasing coal out. Actually, it's quite the contrary. In America, we have a 200-year supply of coal, and it's a resource that we can use going forward more efficiently so we can use coal and, and in a clean coal technology in a way that makes good sense for the consumer and for the country. Lisa, you shared so much great information, but where can we learn more? The audience should join us at americaspower.org. We're having an online conversation there with Americans who care more about using coal as part of our energy future. But while we're here at Prairie State, let's go talk to Ashley Keene, who can tell us more about what's happening here at this exciting facility. That sounds like a great idea. Joining us now is Ashley Keene from the Prairie State Energy Campus. Thanks for joining us, Ashley. Thanks, Michelle, for having us today. So people have the notion a lot of times that coal is black, it's sooty, it's gross. But that's certainly not the case, what we see here. No, not at all. Prairie State is a super critical uh, power plant, and um, we are built with the best available control technology. We have a, over a billion dollars of investment in our emissions equipment and we're able to be one of the cleanest coal plants in the nation to really begin generating energy for 2.5 million families across the Midwest. And this is a brand new facility, right? Um, we had our groundbreaking in 2007, and following that, um, we just put our first unit online to produce power for our owners um, just a month ago in early June. We're also a mine mouth uh, facility, which means that we have our coal mine directly adjacent to our power plant. So we'll mine our coal and we're able to ship it across the street and use it in our power plant almost immediately. So um, we're able to save what most coal plants do is they'll have their coal railed in from the western United States. Well, we don't have that. Our coal travels literally across the street. 
Can you talk a little bit about the emissions and the large scale facility that you have here and how it's differing from what it would have been 30 years ago? Sure. We're going to produce 1,600 megawatts of power here, but half of our footprint here at Prairie State at our power plant is a billion dollars of emissions equipment. We have the finest emissions equipment available and we're able to keep our emissions very low and um, we're very proud to be uh, the next face of clean coal technology. So Ashley, this is the largest coal-fueled power plant to be built in the entire U.S. since 1982? Yes, in fact, um, during construction we had more than 4,000 construction workers work on building the power plant and we're moving towards having 500 permanent employees here at Prairie State. Our stack is 700 feet tall and that's 70 feet taller than the Gateway Arch in St. Louis. Where do you see the future of clean coal technology? We truly hope that Prairie State is the model for the future of coal-fired electricity. And we do hope that um, with its state-of-the-art technology, Prairie State will be shown to be one of the cleanest coal-fired power plants in the United States. What is so unique about what we are seeing here? Well, we're standing at Prairie State's Lively Grove Mine, and what makes this so unique is that our coal mine is directly adjacent to our power plant. So as we mine our coal here, our coal will go directly to the power plant to be used immediately to begin generating electricity. When you take a look right directly to the back of us here, you can see some coal coming out of that. That's the first step in the process as the miners mine the coal underground. And what eventually will happen is the coal then travels across to the power plant. Eventually it'll get pulverized into like a baby fine powder. And that's what's lit to begin the electricity process. Any idea how much coal is moving through this system? at any um, given time? At any given time. It, it varies depending upon the needs of the plant, but um, annually we'll, we'll mine over 7 million tons of coal. We are at the heart of the Prairie State Energy Campus and our power plant. We are standing at, on our turbine deck, and this is uh, the steam turbine for one of our units. We're going to be producing 1,600 megawatts of electricity, 800 megawatts per unit, and this supplies the steam, and this is the last part of our coal process before we actually put electricity out on the grid. And our power plant is going to produce enough power to um, supply 2.5 million families in the Midwest with electricity. Well, a big thank you to you, Lisa and Ashley, and everyone here at the Prairie State Energy Campus for being a part of Think Green. We've got this link on our website at designingspaces.tv, and you can also find us on Facebook as well. In Washington County, Illinois, I'm Michelle Anselmo for Think Green. We all want clean water and a healthy ecosystem. We also want to find ways of lowering our cost of living while maintaining an efficient household. Well, the technologies are here, and we just need to start using them. So together, let's move forward for a healthier, greener lifestyle. For Designing Spaces Think Green, I'm Ted Brunson. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.